Welcome to Young Justice Exposed, your place for everything Young Justice, the known, the unknown, and forgotten tales and takes of our favorite show. This episode, we are diving deep into the classic Fawcett heroes, the Marvel family of Earth-16. Now, before we dive into this, guys, I wanted to remind you guys, we're doing everything we can do to save Earth-16. Make sure you use those hashtags, Renew Young Justice, Young Justice Season 5, and Save Earth-16, and checking out that Young Justice Targets paperback. That's linked down below, and this is the way we can save the show. Well, Captain Marvel, aka Shazam, has been a staple since Season 1 of Young Justice, and honestly, one of the best takes of the character ever made. Billy Batson, a.k.a. Captain Marvel's presence, has been felt throughout the show in one form or another, and many fans don't know there is so much more there than meets the eye. The Marvel, or Shazam, family and their mythos has been massively expanded in the last year or so, on the show, in the comics, and even from Greg Wiseman himself. So, it's a good time to take a dive into the history of the show, as well as some of the larger, rather unexpectedly larger, family of Fawcett characters and Marvel family members. Now, we probably shouldn't even be doing this video because the original run of the Young Justice comic had a story that intended on delivering a massive expansion of the Marvel family on Earth-16. This was one of those storylines that had to be dropped, so fans never got to see the team and the story in its full glory. Now, Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam, a.k.a. Billy Batson, has been part of the show from its early days. Honestly, the wonderful hybrid of teen and superhero is a perfect fit with the, with the Young Justice Squad from day one, even if he was a little desperate. I always felt like he really did belong with the covert team all along. He played a huge part in season one, and unknown to many fans, he was truly at the peak of his power. He has since changed his name to Shazam, and not Captain Marvel on Earth-16, but that wasn't the biggest impact of his character throughout the series. By Season 2, a lot had changed. You may have noticed he struggled with the battle with Despro, a villain you would think Cat would have stomped easily, but was pretty rather soundly defeated, at least at first. Now, the reason for this ties into the creation of the Marvel family, and dives into a lot of Freddy and Mary, so let's talk about them first before we talk about why this happened. Now, we never actually see Marvel family members become, well, the Marvel family. Mary Blomfield and Freddie Freeman were part of the Lost Era. We've talked about this on the channel before and did a full breakdown, but this is the time between Season 1 and the Legacy game, which happened just before Season 2 kicked off. Freddy was B-14 and Mary was B-15 but their superhero names were Sergeant Marvel and Lieutenant Marvel, and they joined some other heroes we never got to see a lot of, such as Donna Troy, Jason Todd, and even Tula for an adventure during this era of Young Justice history. We do know how they got their powers from Billy. He literally shared a third of his powers with both Mary and Freddy, and he can never get it back. This means by the time we catch up with Shazam in Season 2, he is literally a third as strong, reducing his power significantly. Additionally, Greg Wiseman has said this is irrevocable and can never be returned, but it did transition them into the classic Marvel family, we just never got to see them on screen. We also have what may have been a very decent look of what they would have manifested like should they have appeared in the show. This comes via Young Justice artist Chris Jones. Now, this is not final or official, but you can see the clear resemblance, and it does give you an idea of how these characters would have ultimately worked. Now, since then, Mary Blomfeld has become a much bigger part of the show. As one of the Sentinels of Magic with Satana during Season 4, we got a pretty big arc involving her, her magic powers, and honestly, what happened to Mary in the first place, and why she gave up being Sergeant Marvel. We find out she basically became addicted to being Sergeant Marvel, and Billy and Freddy had to convince her to give up the power, never saying the magic word again. Now, the events of Season 4 definitely took her toll on her psyche, and we saw her not only say the magic word at the end of the season, but that post credit scene saw her become Black Mary and join Darkseid's Furies under Granny Goodness. Her full story is not yet told, and I think both her and Kara Zor-El will be a big part of the redemption arc in Season 4. As for Freddy, well, we have never really gotten much there. The final issue of Young Justice Targus actually gave us a first and only look at Freddy Freeman on Earth-16. Now, if you take a look at the comic panel from Wally West's funeral, and you look off to the right-hand side, you will see Billy and Mary standing beside Freddy Freeman who is sitting under a tree right beside Plastic Man. 
Freddy is actually holding his cane, making sure we know that is indeed Freddy Freeman. Could he return in an upcoming season? Well, honestly, I would bet on it. I actually think he's going to be a key part in redeeming Mary, or at least helping Mary fight her inner demons. This kind of redemption story is honestly built into the DNA of all these characters. Fans really would like to see Freddie Freeman take the disguise as Captain Marvel Jr. or as he's called on Earth-16, Lieutenant Marvel. Now, there are some other Marvel Fawcett family members on Earth-16 filling out the family. We got to meet Uncle Dudley along with Mr. Tawny in the Alpha Male episode which was seen in Season 1, Episode 13. We also found out recently from Greg Wiseman himself, the Wizard Shazam does indeed exist on Earth-16. He revealed this during his character countback. He was also indeed part of the comic series that we never got to see, and we'd have likely seen him teamed up with the Marvel family, giving us a much better feel for the Wizard in this particular world. Now, additionally, there are several villains from the Marvel family on Earth-16. Probably the best known is Black Adam. We know Black Adam took on the team in several episodes during Ventures in Season 1, but he's also mentioned again in Season 4 and has appeared several times in the comics. He is formidable on Earth-16 and was part of the Injustice League that was set up by Vandal Savage to fail, which has definitely left him on bad terms with the villain. We, now, we've also had some other teases of Shazam baddies, but if you blink, you'll miss them. We know that Sabak is part of this world along with Ambok. Sabak attacked Fawcett City along with Imbok and was defeated by Captain Marvel. This defeat was reported by Cat Grant on GBS News and we actually see Billy and Uncle Dudley watching this on the news. Now in the comics, Imbok is Stanley Stinky Printwhistle who is transformed into a strongman after a deal with the devil. Like Captain Marvel and Sabak, his powers are bestowed upon him by speaking the initials of his benefactors. The terror of Ivan the Terrible, the cunning of Borgia, the fierceness of Attila the Hun, and the cruelty of Caligula. Now, lots of details about Sabak are also not given, but in the comics, his real name is Timothy Carnes, a Nazi sympathizer who gains the powers of demons by speaking their initials, just like Shazam. The initials are Satan, Am, Balal, Bezobulb, Asmodeus, and Kratius. But interestingly enough, he was originally a villain for Captain Marvel Jr., but like in Bot, he is basically the opposite or an anti-Captain Marvel. These demonic presences could be interesting in the future should the show continue and could be a strong indicator that some other characters beyond these three villains could be part of the universe also. There's never been any mentions of other known patties from Shazam's rogues gallery like Dr. Savannah, Mr. Mind, or the Monster Society of Evil. Greg's character count packs only include things that have been established in the show, but given the large expanse that is Earth-16, I have to think most of them will have a place in the grander plan. I think whatever future the show may have, the Shazam family is definitely going to be a big part of it. There is a reason we got finally introduced to Freddie Freeman and had that Mary Blomfeld story this past season. Clearly, the power of Shazam and the power of the magic word is going to play a big future on Young Justice. But we'll have to wait and see.